We continue to track breaking news. Tsunami warnings for communities along the coast of the country of Japan after a major earthquake and aftershock strike the coast of Taiwan. Right now, we want to turn to earthquake expert Dr. Lucy Jones, who joins us live. Dr. Jones, good evening to you, and uh, thank you so much for joining us here on the KTLA News. Uh, what can you tell us about the 7.4 earthquake that struck on the eastern coast of Taiwan? It was morning there. We know it was a shallow earthquake, so uh, a very strong one at that. Yeah, it's at the, uh, it's, it appears to have ruptured through the, the city of Hualien, which is on the east coast. It has about 350,000 residents. Um, a magnitude 7.4, the fault's going to be at least 100 miles long, and uh, we can see a distribution of aftershocks along that. There have already been several um, half a dozen earth aftershocks above magnitude five, one that's about six and a half. Um, I'm also noticing, so it's, it's on the east coast of of the um, of the island, starting about midpoint on the island, and it looks like it ruptured to the north, which tends to focus the energy towards the north as well. There are tsunami warnings because it's a vertical motion type of what's called a thrust fault, and part of it is underwater. So it will have changed the shape of the seafloor, and that's what creates a tsunami. They're saying one to three meters in, in Taiwan. The, the one thing to be said is that coastline is extremely um, mountainous, so mostly people are, are way above the ocean. Uh, Dr. Um, Jones, we're working to uh, get the first images in from Taiwan, and uh, once we get them, we'll have them on the air, obviously. But, but speaking uh, just from sheer magnitude, this has the potential uh, to, to do quite a bit of damage, does it not? Well, it has the potential definitely for Hualien. That's why I mentioned city of 350,000 people with the fault right underneath it. Uh, all the major cities of, of Taiwan are located uh, a reasonable distance away, and therefore the shaking won't be as extensive. I am seeing definitely higher shaking reports coming out of Taipei compared to cities farther south, which are actually closer to the earthquake. And that suggests that we're getting what's called basin amplification, Taipei is built on a big bowl of sediment, just like Los Angeles, and you like just like shaking a bowl of Jello that can amplify the shaking. So it's the something that we worry about for Los Angeles, and it looks like we're seeing it in Taipei. Uh, overall, though, the shaking levels in outside of Hualien are not too high, especially considering the very good uh, building codes that they use in Taiwan. Yeah, we understand uh, there are some reports that are coming in that uh, some of the buildings have been shaken off their foundation. Uh, we're still trying to get confirmation on that um, and that uh, the city of Taipei has uh, shut down some of their um, uh, subway systems, understandably, um, as they're, you know, in, in an state of emergency right now. Um, and as they're continuing to feel these aftershocks, as you mentioned, Dr. Jones, some uh, north of uh, 5.5, 6.5, you know, and these aftershocks can continue. Um, how long can they expect to feel these kind of aftershocks and, and how big will these aftershocks continue to, uh, how big will these aftershocks be? All right, so the number dies off with time as one over time. So the second day has half the number of aftershocks of the first day. But when you have a lot, like you do in this situation, that tail can be very long. And felt aftershocks will probably continue for years. Um, damaging ones become progressively less likely as the overall number goes down. But uh, the ratio of large to small doesn't change with time. So they should be expecting to feel plenty more felt aftershocks in, in Taipei, I think in Hualien. I doubt they have, you're getting many reports from Hualien yet because it's a very, it's a large city, 350,000 people, but it's isolated from the rest of Taiwan because of the extremely mountainous terrain in between. Uh, and that's where I would expect to see the, the most significant damage. And as we get more information, we will, of course, uh, put it on the air. Seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones, good of you to take the time. Uh, we'll be back with more after this. Stay with us.